Hey there, this is Hugh. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to send MT4 or uh, trading view alerts to Slack. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, first of all, this is probably how you feel if you miss a trade, right? Like you see a sweet setup that happened while you're sleeping or while you were uh, maybe away from the uh, computer for like, you know, half an hour and you missed the setup or something like that. This is how you feel. Using something like MT4 or TradingView with their alerts feature uh, can be a big help in not missing these trades. But the problem with MT4 or TradingView is that it's a one-to-one -one relationship. So you can basically send um, an alert to one person's email or especially in the case with MetaTrader 4, it's just one device, right? Whatever app you designate as the app to receive the alerts is gonna get the alerts. With TradingView, you can set up an email or like a text email to text message type setup, but it's pretty similar. It's, you can't do a one to multiple relationship like, like this. <laughs> so um, what I'm gonna show you is how to do this so that your MetaTrader 4 or your TradingView alerts can go to multiple people, multiple devices at the same time. And this is useful if you wanna have an alert on multiple uh, devices, you know, on your phone, on your desktop, your laptop. Uh, and if you have a trading group or a bunch of trading friends that use a similar setup and they all, you, you all wanna get this alerts at the same time, then this is the best way to do it. Okay, so if you're pretty technologically inclined and you you can figure this out yourself, you don't want to watch the whole video, then you can go, uh, th this is the um, the shortcut version, right? So you go from MetaTrader 4 or TradingView, um, you send that email to Gmail, you set up a free Gmail account, um, then you use if this then that to check the Gmail account, and if a, if the email is tagged with a certain tag, then uh, if this then that sends it to Slack, your Slack channel, whichever um, group in your Slack channel that you designate. Um, okay, so if you want the details on this, then here we go. Um, Slack is great because it works on all these devices. Uh, MetaTrader 4 only works on certain devices um, and you I don't think you can get web alerts or, or browser alerts. But if you use something like Linux and you, you're using Chrome or Firefox and Linux, then you can still get these alerts, which is awesome. And this is what they look like on the Slack app. Uh, at least mine, your alerts are gonna be different. Uh, so let's take a look at how to do this. Okay, so going back to this slide, we wanna set up all of these accounts. If you're using uh, MetaTrader 4 or TradingView, whichever one you prefer, it doesn't matter. Then you wanna set up a free Gmail account, set up a free if this then that account and set up a free Slack account. So this can be done totally free. Okay, so I'm assuming that you already know how to set up uh, email alerts or email, uh, the email setups in MT4 or um, TradingView. If you don't, then I'm sure there's some YouTube videos on it, but I won't mention that here. Um, and then you're gonna send it to your new Gmail account. And I recommend using a uh, separate Gmail account because number one, uh, you're going to give is if this then that access to it, and you probably don't want to give access to your primary account, right? And then it's just easier to keep track. And you know, if you're using your regular account, you don't want you don't want like like here like eleven thousand extra emails, right? I don't think anybody needs that. So um, what you do here is you would go into settings, and then uh, in filters, you want to set up some filters and then create these folders or these labels, as Gmail calls it. And you want to uh, base. I do it based on the title. So if it says pin bar in the um, or the subject of the email, then I it automatically goes into the pin bar uh, folder. <clears throat> and then when you go to if this then that, it automatically looks for the label pin bar and it will send. Uh, the, I believe it's just the title of the email to one of my private groups that has pin bar alerts. And then inside Slack, you can set up as many channels as you want. You can invite as many people as you want. Um, everybody who has access to the Slack channel 
can run it on their mobile devices, on their desktop, laptop, whatever. So it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty easy to configure. If then that's if this then that is very reliable. You just use this Gmail applet, and you're good to go. So if you have a group or if you've been trying to distribute alerts in a simple way, then uh, this is the easiest way that I've figured out how to do it. Um, and it's also the most robust. Uh, some people were trying it where they would send the email to an email service and then that would automatically broadcast to a email list, but that's really sloppy. And um, if you ever get marked as a spammer, then um, people won't get your emails or the emails won't even be sent. So I think this is the best way to do it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, but uh, I hope that helps. All right, thanks for watching.